Hello students, welcome to Reader's Workshop. Today I'm going to share with you an information book about Thanksgiving, but it's kind of different. So a lot of time we're used to seeing information books or nonfiction that use photographs, right? We've had corn, for example, that has real photographs of corn and parts of corn. We've also looked at information books that talk about things in history, and since some things back in history we don't have photographs for, right, because it was before there was photography, there may be drawings, right, of things from long ago. Um, but Gail Gibbons, the author I'm going to share with you today, she writes lots of information books about things in modern times, about apples and pumpkins and Thanksgiving, or the mail or airplanes, but she does it all with her beautiful detailed illustrations. So let's enjoy. Thanksgiving is, dun, dun, dun. I think we're gonna learn about all different things about Thanksgiving. And on the front, wow, I see a big turkey. I see some signs of the harvest, colored corn, Indian corn and pumpkins. And on the back, we see some more beautiful colored leaves and nuts and some wheat, looks like wheat. Okay, here we go. Thanksgiving is by Gail Gibbons. Oh, and there's another beautiful illustration to get us in the mood for the harvest. This makes me think of the harvest, right? Oh, dedication to all those who love Thanksgiving Day. Wow, I see squash, apples, vegetables, beans, and cranberries. Thanksgiving is by Gail Gibbons. And there's the turkey again. Oh, and more, more signs of the harvest and fall everywhere in this beautiful book. Thanksgiving is a holiday for giving thanks. In the United States, Thanksgiving is celebrated on the fourth Thursday of November. Well, here in these harvest vegetables, there's even like turnips or onions, all kinds of stuff. And there's a family together. Thanksgiving is harvest celebrations of long ago. Thousands of years ago, people had celebrations to give thanks for bountiful harvests. Egyptians praised their god Min, the god of plants and fertility. In China, the people honored the moon at harvest time because it appeared to be at its brightest and perfectly round. They baked moon cakes to celebrate a harvest. So here we have Egypt and China. And there's a caption, right? So even though it's a different kind of information book, it still has many of the same things. There's a heading and here's pictures and here's a caption. The Chinese baked moon cakes to celebrate a harvest. And you can see up close. The Greeks worshipped their goddess of agriculture, Demeter. The, Roman, the Romans' goddess of agriculture was named Ceres. They offered the first foods from their harvest to her as thanks. I love these illustrations. They're so nice. The ancient Jewish harvest festival called Sukkot was first celebrated thousands of years ago. Jews thanked God for his protection and for their food, as they still do today. Look at all the lovely details. During the Middle Ages, so we're moving forward in history, right? Here we were looking, I got to stop and think, right? Because we reading is thinking. Here it was showing some different cultures way back in history. Now we're moving more forward in history. During the Middle Ages, farmers in England held festivals to celebrate the end of the harvest. The Middle Ages were from about 450 to 1450. So they're celebrating the harvest. Thanksgiving is the Pilgrims. In September 1620, a group of 101 passengers sailed from Plymouth, England in search of a new home. These men, women, and children were called pilgrims. They wanted the freedom to worship in their own way, which they had not been allowed to do. They crossed the Atlantic Ocean on a small ship called the Mayflower, 
Their voyage was difficult. They sailed through many storms. One passenger died and a baby was born. At last, after a long voyage, they came ashore at what is now Plymouth, Massachusetts. The pilgrims began to build homes. Winter came with its cold winds. The pilgrims had little food to eat and many of them died. Okay, notice there's actually a map, just like a regular nonfiction book. Here they are arriving and here they are quickly trying to build some homes before winter. Thanksgiving is Native Americans. When spring finally arrived, the pilgrims were grateful. Indians taught them how to grow the foods that they themselves ate. Also, they taught the pilgrims how to be better hunters. During the growing season, the crops grew and grew. The fall harvest was plentiful. Plenty full, right? Full of plenty. They had a lot. The pilgrims wanted to thank God for the abundance of food they would have for the coming winter. It says two famous Indians who helped the settlers were Squanto and Massasoit. And there is Squanto teaching the pilgrims how to plant better. And here is another Native American, maybe Massasoit, teaching them how to hunt. And there is their bountiful harvest, all the good stuff they were able to grow. Thanksgiving is the first Thanksgiving. There was a great feast. The Indians were invited. It was the pilgrims' first Thanksgiving, the fall of 1621. The first Thanksgiving lasted three days. So there are so many details. I'm gonna show you up close. We'll do one page at a time. There the Native Americans are bringing deer. The pilgrims are probably cooking some corn mush or some pumpkin. And there some settlers are bringing some fowl, some birds, turkeys, or other ducks, things to eat. Thanksgiving is a holiday. In 1863, so we're moving, continuing to move forward in history. In 1863, President Abraham Lincoln proclaimed the last Thursday of November to be Thanksgiving Day. This was the first nationally declared Thanksgiving Day for the United States. Then, in 1939, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt made a change and declared Thanksgiving Day to be the fourth Thursday of November. So here's Abraham Lincoln. Here's another president who changed it a little bit. And it says, in Canada, this is like a fun fact on the side, right? In Canada, Thanksgiving is celebrated on the second Monday of October. Thanksgiving has many symbols. There are Thanksgiving decorations. In many ways, our Thanksgiving celebrations remind us of the Pilgrim's Thanksgiving. There are pumpkins, turkeys, fall leaves, and other symbols gathered together to look like harvest time. Some homes are decorated. Thanksgiving is family and friends. Family and friends come together to share good times. It is time for loving and sharing. Thanksgiving is a Thanksgiving feast. Tables are filled with many of the same foods the pilgrims shared with the Indians. So here's welcoming family and friends. Here's a Thanksgiving feast. I see pumpkin, maybe potatoes, biscuits, cranberries, turkey. There is turkey. Oh, here's some more details. There's turkey, stuffing, cranberries, sweet potatoes, beans, squash, cornbread, and other good things to eat. You can see up close all the different things the family is enjoying. Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving desserts too. There is pumpkin pie, mincemeat pie, bread pudding, baked apples, all kinds of treats. Thanksgiving is giving. Sometimes people send Thanksgiving cards. They may give plants or flowers when they visit others. Thanksgiving is games. Families and friends may play outside or go to a game. 
or sometimes watch a game on the television, <laughs> right? Watching football. Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving plays. There are plays about the pilgrims and the Indians who helped them. Thanksgiving is parades. There are floats, bands, and big balloons. Thanksgiving is sharing and remembering others. Oh, so here's an example of some in the illustration. People are packing a basket maybe to, to share with others. And here's some people have gone, I think, to a place to, a family maybe has gone to a place where they're sharing food. They're serving food to people maybe who don't have food or who are homeless. So they're helping others. They're volunteering, right? Thanksgiving is giving thanks for many blessings. And on the last page is a, do you remember what that's called? Cornucopia filled with the bounty of the harvest. So I hope you enjoyed Thanksgiving is, and I want you to remember how information books can be different without photographs. These are all drawn pictures, but they still have many similar things. There were headings, there was a map, there were captions, right? And we sure learned so much. In fact, I really love this book so much. And I love the focus at the beginning on moving through history. You know how much I like history. And making the connection to harvest celebrations in Egypt and China and Greeks, Greece and, and Rome, the Roman Empire. And then moving up to the Jewish celebration of Sukkot and then the Middle Ages. So it's making connections through history to all the different ways that people have been thankful for a bountiful harvest. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in a minute for Writer's Workshop.